Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over my June TBR because I really want to be organized with my reading in June. Usually I'm just a mood reader, very sporadic. I will go to the library like every day when I'm in a reading mood and I will just get random books, finish them in a couple days, and then go back to the library. This month I'm actually going to be planning out everything that I'm reading and then hopefully getting through it all. I do have a couple that I'm not going to be talking about on here because they're for a video so you would very easily be able to guess the video if I told you and I want to make it a surprise. Also I apologize for how I sound. I'm getting over a cold and I just wanted to do a more chill video for Tuesday because I'm not feeling that great yet. Here's your chill video, and I wanted to plan this out anyway, so it kind of worked out. But yeah, I guess let's get started. Um, I, I love reading, and this month I decided to read all books that I own because usually I just head to the library and get a whole stack of books and then completely ignore all of this beautiful, beautiful bookshelf. So now I'm going to read a bunch of books that I haven't read yet that I own. So that should be really fun because I don't buy books so these are all books that I've like accumulated or like thrifted. I try not to buy books new if I can just because like they're really expensive and I like to be reusing stuff. So let's get started. First book I want to read is The Essex Serpent because there is a Apple TV show coming out this Friday on it and I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it. It's pretty long, around 400 pages long. But I do tend to devour longer books, so I guess we'll see what happens, but hopefully I can finish it within a week or so. Of course, I'm reading a book right now, and then once I finish that, I'm starting on June. Even if it isn't quite June yet, that's okay. It'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> so, The Essex Serpent first, which I'm very excited about. I was overjoyed to find this at Goodwill when I found it a couple months ago, so cannot wait to read this one. I don't really have an order for the rest of them, so I'm just gonna go based on how they are in my pile. The next book I want to read is Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. My brother got me this book at Shakespeare and Company in Paris, and you can see the stamp. I cannot wait to read this one. I love Norse Mythology, and he also got me this cute little bookmark. That'll be fun to read it with. I've been trying to keep this book, like, as pristine as possible. This is going to be really interesting. I've been reading a lot of, well, I mean, I've always loved Greek mythology, and then within the past, like, five years maybe I've gotten into Norse mythology as well so I would like to read this and get to know some more about it so I can't wait to read this. Next I guess we'll move on to The Paris Wife by Paula McLean. Um, I started this one I'm like maybe a third through it. It was just sitting on my floor and then I kind of forgot about it so I will have to revisit this one and continue it. It reminded me of the movie Midnight in Paris, which is absolutely one of my favorite movies ever. This one, I would like to finish it, so that's why it's in this pile. Um, maybe I'll go back a little bit to remember what is happening, but I don't think it was anything too complex, so I should be able to get back into it pretty quickly. The next book I have, I got for my birthday and I put it on my shelf and kind of forgot about it because it's pretty thin. It's called Harry Potter and Beyond. Um, on J.K. Rowling's Fantasies and Other Fictions. It's by Tyson Pugh. So it's like a deep dive, I guess, into Harry Potter. I don't exactly know. Look at how dense those pages are. So this is gonna take me a while. The next book I picked out is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I've actually never read this. I used to absolutely love dystopian novels and I never got my hands on this one. It just always seemed to be checked out of my library whenever I was wanting to read it. I finally found it at Goodwill and was pretty cheap for a hardcover so I was like okay you know I'm gonna get it this time and I'm going to read it. So I actually started it as an audiobook back in like February and then I forgot about it, the audiobook expired and then I just never got back into it so I will be jumping back into this one. I was intrigued so far. Once I'm done with this I can read the rest of the books and watch the movies. It's a whole new world for me that I haven't read yet so I'm excited to get into this one and it should be a pretty quick read because it's YA and you know pages aren't too dense it looks like about 350 pages so this one will be fun. Got two books left the next one is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I honestly don't know why I haven't read this yet. I just feel like I have to read this one. I really don't know why I haven't read it yet. That's that's all I have to say about it. Finally for the books that I can tell you about I will be reading Educating the Young Horse, The Thinking Trainer's Guide by Julian Westall. I have this strange fascination with horse training, so hopefully I will learn some new stuff from this book. I've owned it for a while and 
just have been a little intimidated to actually get into it so comment down below what is on your June TBR or just your general TBR. Um, I'm excited to hear what books you guys want to read and let me know what your thoughts on the books that I'm going to be reading. I'm curious to hear if you like them or not. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts. And if you follow me on Instagram or on Goodreads, then you can see what my ratings are of all these books because I'll be traveling at the end of the month, so I probably won't do a uh, book roundup. But I will be updating you guys on social media as I finish them, so if you follow me there, then you can see that. Also, make sure to check out my Etsy shop, also at Rosie Revolts, and my book at goodoutdoorsbook.com, and I will see you guys later. Bye!